What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create lower thirds in Vegas Pro 15. So for this I'm going to be using this pack here, now this is actually a Chrome icon pack I created last year, and this is every icon that is currently in it. If there is one that you want me to add, please let me know so I can add it to this pack. But anyway, we're going to be using the YouTube icon for an example to create this. So I'm just going to drag and drop this into Vegas. Of course, it's center of the screen. We don't want that. So I'm going to be using the track motion. Uh, it's also going to be hidden here if you haven't taken it out yet. So here's mine. And then what we're going to do is have luck aspect ratio highlighted along with scale about center and simply size it down. Now it's completely up to you how small or how big you want it. Now I'm going to keep mine just here and I'm going to position it to the bottom left and I'm going to X out of it. Icons in position, I'm happy with that. I'm then going over to the media generators. I'm going to come all the way down and I'm going to be adding a solid color. Now it can be any color. I'm just going to add a white for now and I'm adding it underneath the logo. From there, come over to the pan and crop and we're going to select the masking tool. So here's the masking tool and obviously rectangle tool and I'm simply just going to draw out a rectangle. Now that's how I will currently have it. So from there I'm going to move this down here to position with uh, the icon just like that and the more you zoom in the more accurate you can be with your arrows on your keyboard. So I'm going to keep it just to there for now it'll probably change later on. Now I'm going to be right clicking and inserting a video track in between the icon and this white bar. So I'm going to head over to media generators again, this time legacy text and I'm adding on the default and this part is where you're going to put the text that will be illustrated in this bar here. So whatever your social media may be, I will just put casual savage for this and I'm going to size this to 25 and I'm going to be picking a font, this one right here and that's how it looks so if you want to copy my font there you go i'm not adding any effects um but i will change it to black now i know we can't see it just yet the reason i change it to black is because this bar is white so track motion for the text and i'm going to position this here again you can use the arrow keys to be a lot more accurate with this so there we go i'm happy with that and the next thing i notice now the bar is too long for this text, it doesn't look right. So we're coming back to that white uh, bar we created. We're gonna head back to the masking part and just simply shorten it out. So just like this, I'm happy with that. And I'm gonna X out of it. So that's basically the base of it completed. Now it's just a still image, so it's pretty boring. We're gonna add some effects or some transitions to make it look a lot better. But before I do that, I'm coming over to the media, media generators for this white bar. I'm going to be changing it to uh, the same color as the YouTube icon. So I'm going to select my color picker and I'm going to select that red. There we go. I'm going to X out of. I'm going to X out of this, and then I'm also going to change my text color back to white. So for that, we head over to properties and just drag it all the way up. You can see it's back to white and there we go. So now we can get onto the transition part. So what I'm going to be doing is adding on 15 frame fades. So that is how it will look. So we can do this a lot quicker. Press D on your keyboard, press D again until you see this, which is a selection tool. Just highlight all of the things here, come back to the move tool, go to the very start and just drag across 15 frames. You can see it's a lot quicker. We don't have to do them individual. They all go at the same time. We're also going to do the same to the ending 15 frames on the end. Now for the bottom two, we're actually going to be changing it. So the icon's going to be coming in first, the text and the bar is going to be coming in after. So I'm going to trim both of them down to the part after the fade. So after the icon has had its fade, this is when the bar will be coming across. Same for the outro. Uh, the text and the bar goes first and of course the logo finishes off. Now we're not using just fades, uh, this is just set thing, something up which will make things a lot quicker when we add on the transitions. So heading over to transitions, what we're going to be doing is first adding on the icon transition. We're coming over to zoom, we're adding on the default on the very first fade. 
Remember, this is for the icon. There you go, that's complete. Now, how that last step we just didn't save us time is because when we add on a transition, it would take us to one second by default. So what we've just done is added all them fades in quickly so we don't have to change them one by one. And then I'm also gonna be adding on zoom out center to the out of the uh, icon. So there we go, icon's all animated. It's gonna zoom in and zoom out. Next is for the text. Now they're both gonna be using the exact same one, the text and the bar. We're gonna be using the slide it transition. And first of all, it is the slide in, slide in left, right. So for the start, slide in left, right for both. And then when it goes off screen, it is gonna be slide out, right, left. And there we go. This is now completed and I'll play this through for you. That's how it looks. So you can see the steps very quickly. The icon zooms in, pops up basically. And then the bar and the text slide in behind it to finish it off like that. And then of course for the ending, the bar and the text go first, and then this zooms out, just like that. So now onto the exporting part. Now we can just add a green screen, but that will mean every time we insert it, we'll have to remove the green screen with chroma key. We can do this a lot more quicker. So this just requires time right now, but after you just simply drag drop it in the video and do about one or two clicks. So let's go over to the rendering part so render as from there head over to quicktime 7 and you can see alpha channel render is here however that is a preset i have created for vegas pro 14 when i showed you how to render in alpha channel uh what you would actually do is press three megabytes per second and we're going to select customize template so here we go frame size is completely terrible so all we're going to do is simply change that to high definition frame rate terrible yet again we're going to change that to 30 fps you can choose 60 if you want to we're then going to change the video format to png the compressed depth is going to be changed to 32 so heading over to the audio tab now of course i have no audio in this you might but i don't so I'm gonna uncheck include audio because of course I don't have it. Next is streaming. Not gonna be doing this, so I can uncheck this. And next is the project. Now here it says video rendering quality. What you wanna do is set this to best. From there, everything is done. Come up to where it says template, call it what you want to. Uh, you can see I called mine alpha channel render because of course that is what this is known as. And then once you're happy with whatever you saved it, select this save template button. You won't have to remember these settings again. You'll have it saved right here. From there, uh, you're good to go. So I will just call this LT, which stands for lower third, and select render. So it is rendered and it is now here. So I'll play it through for you. There you go. So how do we make this work? First of all, let me add on a video underneath. So the clip underneath right here is from my Vertigo Effects in Premiere Pro, and you can see we can't see the video. So all you need to do when you insert the lower third is right click, select properties, come up to media. And from media, we're gonna come to where it says alpha channel and select straight unmatted. From there, select okay, all sorted. No green screen, no chroma key, no video effects, just like that it is done. And that's the steps you'll need to follow every time you import it. It's a lot more quicker. So playing it through, you can see, works as normal.